So, hello everybody. My name is Caroline and this is Manu. We are coming from uh, Art La Sens, France. Um, the main topic of uh, this demonstration is to show you how we work horses, um, how we train them, and we have here two horses. The first one, who is uh, riding by Manu, he's a mare, she's a mare. She's five years old, and um, we, we try to work horses. Um, th there are two sport horses, and the, the goal is to improve their training by using their learning abilities. So the first mare, she's five, and she's competing in dressage, contrary to her rider, who is a jumping rider. <laughs> Um, her name is Kerida de Hus, so she is coming from Ardeus. She, the call was there, was um, made over there by Sébastien Jolin, and it's very important to notice because it's been done very well, and it's always better to start well. It's always easier for the future. The foundation were very good, so we will start. Um, the first step of the demonstration is to um, show you how to prepare a young horse to be confident in a changing environment. So, the first, um, before, uh, before working on the environment, we will try to have the decontraction, the calm, and the concentration. And First step is to make sure that we have all the, the good foundation. It's like Andy said this morning, Manu will, will just check he can go right, left, stop, and go forward very easily. And we want to make sure that it's very clear for the mayor. There is no stress, and everything is clear between Manu and the mayor on this basic aid. And it looks like very obvious, but it's very important for the future to have good foundation. So he's just checking that and let the mayor a costume to hear. <laughs> and if she doesn't respond well, he will just make correction and release the pressure when she's okay, she looks like okay. And when the, the basic aids are very clear and very okay between the two, um, we will start to, to work on the attitude because she's a, she's a dressage horse. So in the first step, we want her very low and in gates very slow, every easy, no, no stress, no pressure. And he, he tried to control her in that attitude. And the objective is to teach the mayor, if you listen to my head, you will be okay. That means she, she, if she wants to, sh to look at the environment or if she's scared of something, Manu will just keep his head on and Re, re, um, waiting for the mare, she, she relax, and he re, he is gonna release the the head when she's between the heads, like between the hand, the seat, and the legs. And step by step, she's gonna learn that she's safer when she's between the heads, and the heads can be very large at the beginning. It's not too tight but between the heads, she was safer than looking at the environment and just concentrate on nothing. So the reflex for her has to be, if I concentrate on my rider, I'm good. <laughs> so she looks like, okay, and concentrate with Manu. <laughs> so um, the first step uh, when we work in environment, on the environment, is um, finding something like a new object or something who can scare the, the horse to work and to teach him how to react. Because we cannot expose the horse to everything in his life. 
So we, had, we have to teach him how to react when he's scared or when he's in a new environment. So we choose the flag because the flag is very easy to handle and it's quite simple. We did it on the ground first. It's exactly what Andy did this morning. Teach the horse not moving when we are moving the flag on the horse or around the horse. And she knows that pretty well, but when we did it, when Sebastian did it uh, on the call start, she probably moves and she's very, very sensitive. And we, we don't want to, it's like Andy say, we, d we don't want to change her and we cannot change her. We know that she's very sensitive, she has a lot of blood and we want to keep that for dressage, it's better for the, the show and the... And the the la reprise. <laughs> um, but we want to teach her to stay calm and concentrate. And so if she's reacting, she's moving and she's scared of the flag, Manu will try to get control, stop his feet, and the flag will stop. So it's like an association between for the mare and okay, uh, if I stop my feet and relax, the, stop, the flag will stop. When it's okay, stand still like that. We'll do it moving. So it's just uh, Magali will keep moving the flag and Manu will work around, first on the walk, on the trot, and just work without more pressure, just like he did before. And if the mare is scared, he will just try to control her when she's listening to him. He's going to on the flag and the flag will stop. And it's very important that we don't want to scare the horse intentionally. It's okay if she, if she doesn't scare, I will go step by step and if she never reacts, that's better. I, <laughs> I'm not looking for a reaction. I just want to teach her step by step. And sometimes it, if the horse is very, very scared, you can stop the flag and also give something to eat or to reinforce the, the comfort with the flag or with the thing he's carrying. She's more interested in the glass than <laughs> in the flag. <laughs> but when we ride her on competition, we really do the same. If she's, she wants to look at the, the people or if there is some, sometimes there is flower or things all around, we just try to keep, with, keep her with, with us and don't put more pressure, just keep the same pressure. And when she just start to concentrate with us, okay, we release that pressure. We can do it on the right side, on the lope. And it's very important to, to do it both sides. We are very used to work on the left side of the horse and it's very important for the horse to do it both sides. And sometimes you don't have the same reaction on the right and on the left. So you have to work to, to have a, you have to work both sides to 
to find a balance between left and right. And if she's OK, Magali, you can go harder with the flag, easily, but harder. The objective is trying to have the horse more interested in the flag or in the scary object than on the environment. Okay, and the third step is to find a new scary environment more different than just the flag with different objects and things. <laughs> you can go. Um, we do it with umbrella and, and flag. And then you will work the horse, but a, just a little bit harder, like asking her for collected trot, extended trot, really working her. She's just five, so, so we cannot do spectacular things, but just working her and doing the, sa doing the same when she's really listening to him, when he has a good response on his demands, he will go on the flag or the umbrella, stop close, and give her a rest close to the umbrella or the flag. And of course, the, the, more you're, the more you're asking for an effort, the more she will be sensitive and ready to move. So you have to go in the effort. You have to put a little bit more pressure to teach her how to deal with it. And we, we want to teach her that because she will have to, in the future, to deal with that. She will go piaf, uh, passage, and all that movement who are very difficult and who are asking for a lot of energy, but we want to control this energy and we want to be sure that she can control her energy. She's able to manage and deal with it. So just step by step, we will put more energy on the work and teach her how to, yeah, how to work with it. And sometimes we are very concentrated on the work of the horse, just teaching some mo uh, special movement and all that. And we, are forgot, we forgot the, the mental. And it's very important to, to have a balance between mental and physics. That's, that's the difference between training and educate the horse. You have to educate the horse on your aid, on the movement, and training is just physics, and you have to do it too, but you have to really, really be careful to have a, a balance between both things. And then you can ask for more but she still concentrate with him. Yeah. The girls, we can come uh, <laughs> around. Okay, we will do just a, a, a um, what? No, we'll do, do an exercise to finish before we go with the other horse. When I will tell you, you can applause the mare and see how she reacts. If she has a reaction, then you will just deal with her and 
it's just an exercise, so if we're ready, we can upload the menu and the mayor. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> thank you. The mental is ready to go competing. <laughs> we have to work on the <laughs> physique, but the mental is good. <laughs> okay, thank you for her, and we'll see with the second horse. <laughs> so this second horse is a gelding. He's 13 years old. Uh, is a jumping horse. He's Manu's horse. <laughs> um, we know him since the, the call start. He was very difficult at the beginning, very sensitive, and he wasn't very confident with the human. So it's been a long way, long and patient way for Manu to, to build a relation with confidence and trust. But now, it's not bad. <laughs> so, the goal is to show you how to improve the motivation of the horse. We choose to, to work on the jump here, but you can work on everything, el less, everything else. Like the mare, he will start on, he will stay on the ground, but he will start on the ground, checking if he can control the horse, go forward, stop, changing direction. And it's the same, you want to be sure that the communication between the horse and the rider is very clear before you go further. Because if those simple heads are not clear enough, you will go further with stress and, and compression, and it's very difficult have for after. It's the Andy Boost cake. If you don't have good foundation, you can make a big cake. You cannot make a big cake. <laughs> And after, you can work also on the, on the attitude of the horse. Put the horse in a lower, there, in a lower attitude. Very calm and decontract. And be sure you can have that before you put pressure. Or you ask for more. Like that, you can ask for more and go back to that. Release the horse and put the pressure down. And the thing is, we, we really try to educate the horse and to train the horse using their learning abilities cause they're, because they're very good. And we try to, to teach them that and not just force them to do it. Okay. So first, he will check if he's not scared of the jump. So we will send him through the jump between the, the bloat and the, 
and your umbrella and make sure the horse is not jumping because he's scared and he just want to evade the the jump. And it's the same, you're going step by step on the walk first, let the horse see what he has to do, and after go on the trot and... But you want to keep the control when he's going through. Okay, so many things. He's okay with the jump, he's not afraid. <laughs> so he, he will have to jump over. And it's the same, he will work the horse, ask him for trot, lope, changing direction, and some exercise, and propose the horse to jump. If he doesn't want to jump, it's okay, it's your choice. But he will work, <laughs> he will keep working. And if you jump, okay, just stop and have a rest. And it, it's important to explain to the horse that he has the choice, he can do it or not, but it's better for him if he's doing it. <laughs> he knows that. <laughs> And that's why we, you have to be very clear with the horse, because if we are close to the, to the jump, it's in his idea to jump, so you don't want to make him confused. So work very f far for the, from the jump and propose the jump. He has to be very clear. <laughs> okay, okay. So after, it's exactly like the mare. We go in the difficulties, harder work, in liberty, and it will do exactly the same, propose a jump, send him to the jump, and try to work to, to keep the balance between working and comfort, having a rest, and see if the, if the horse is okay to do it. The goal is making your idea become his idea. When the horse wake up this morning, he wasn't ready to jump this and like, okay, or every, or today I will go in the big manage and work and jump this. <laughs> so it's really the human idea to do this, but you have to work and there, <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> But we are okay with that because mistake and fail are very part of the learning and you can leave the horse choosing. Okay, good boy. And we are not mad or against the, the horse if it doesn't do it. It's like, okay, keep working, keep teaching him. It's better to do it than not doing it. <laughs> And we really think that if the horse can 
physically do it, and if he understands what you want him to do, he will try to do it. And it's nothing hard to jump, it's not very high, but it's just to have the, the, the mind and the contribution with the horse. Okay, so <laughs> the conclusion will be whatever we, we want to do with a horse, competition or leisure, we truly really think it's very important to put solid foundation, to go far with him, and to have a good comprehension between the rider and the horse. And there is like three points if you want to educate the horse in a respectful way. It's looking for trust, calm and decontraction, staying progressive and being understood by the horse, and reward the horse for every little try. So, Thank you all for your attention, and we, want, we really want to thank the ESS for what they are doing for riders and horses, and also the French National Riding School for inviting us. We are very pleased to, to be part of the, the reflection, and thanks also to persons like Andy Booth and Andrew McLean to contribute to put together science and equitation and help to improve the relation between rider and horse. So thanks, everybody. Big round of applause.